Hello everyone, uh, so welcome to the Penguins uh, in a Box tutorial. Uh, so first of all, uh, who uh, are we? Uh, so um, today we are, uh, is Susanna and myself. So I have been recently um, certified as an art studio instructor and part of uh, you know the process by how I got the, this certification got me into making this tutorial. So I really wanted to make data science more accessible to everyone. Um, and actually part of the reasons that we developed this package is because we uh, did it in, in multiple uh, languages. So we did it in English and Spanish. And that's why probably if you have got into the readme, uh, it was described in Spanish. Uh, and now Susanna can introduce herself. So. Okay. Um, hello everyone, I am Susana Escobar. I live in El Salvador where I work as a machine learning engineer and I lead the group of data scientists like Scientific Data in Salvador is for reals. Um, during, during my time in the office, I have come, come across some language barriers, for example, inviting international speakers or sharing Mat learning material because not everyone speaks a second language here. And, and it's, it is evident that Maria and me share the same motivation to increase the accessibility of res resource to each and to each and their art. And I am very excited to see you here. Yeah. Um. So yeah, uh, basically um, this is our motivation um, and also, um, so we wanted to go beyond our studio primers. So I don't know if you have uh, you know, come across our studio primers, but this is a great resource uh, put together by the our studio uh, teaching community. Uh, so actually like, you know, if you have uh, read the R for data science book and you want to practice um, uh, with some exercise, you can, easily go into this website and, you know, uh, they are very uh, nice interactive tutorials that you can find out here. But now the downside is that these tutorials are only in English. Uh, so as we said, like, you know, we, find, we have encountered several language barriers. And so we wanted to go beyond these uh, primers and, um, and, you know, make these exercises in, in Spanish, for instance. But uh, we want to highlight that, uh, you know, if you, any of you speak another second language, uh, it's fairly easy to uh, adapt this exercise. And, you know, if you are learning or teaching data science, it's fairly really easy to um, adapt them. So um, this is our motivation. And the way that we wanted to make these tutorials is by uh, creating teaching and learning in community. Uh, so I, we actually um, make this um, together uh, as a part of a community. And we were following, um, the uh, Teaching Tech Together Guide. Uh, so this is a book that was written by uh, Greg Wilson, who was um, in, in the Irish Studio um, core, core uh, team uh, for a while. And actually the book is available in English and in Spanish. So many of the teaching uh, structures that we follow uh, were, you know, were written in this book. And, and with this book, um, we make our uh, penguins in a box packets. And actually, Alison Horse, which, who is part of the uh, art um, community, uh, the art uh, sort of like office in the in our studio, has uh, contributed to this package by making the the nice sticker with some South American hats, as you can see here. So this was uh, very nice. So. Um, we put these packets together for teaching and learning data science. And but before we describe the packets a bit more, uh, we wanted to start um, running some tutorials. So uh, if you have uh, downloaded the packets, um, then you can basically now uh, sort of like execute it. So let me get out of my uh, presentation mode and let me share. Um, let me share my R Studio. So brilliant. So basically, um, the way that you can execute these tutorials is simply um, 
by first loading the packet, and then uh, you have to run this line of code so you know you have to call the learner uh, our tutorial i'm sure that susanna is sharing this uh, line with you um uh, you know we, we are available in the in the zoom uh, chat and also like in the slack if you have any problems also afterwards but uh, if you want to run with me this uh, first sort of like um, pilot uh, tutorial uh, you just have to copy this line into into your uh, console. So there are several ways that you can run a, a learner tutorial. So one of them is just by you know uh, running this command run tutorial. There's another way uh, by by which is uh, and is uh, this uh, option here, which is run the document. So basically, what this will do is it will uh, render the the markdown. We'll explain a bit later how these exercises were uh, built. But basically, if you this is just an R markdown, and so if you run the document, it's gonna render uh, these exercises, and so you can open them in in a browser, and as you can see here, like they are open. There is yet a third option, which is uh, basically we host these tutorials in uh, in our Signy uh, in our Signy account. Uh, so um, I could also run the tutorial from from the Signy account. So um, so let's do let's do. It that way. So this is how the learner uh, tutorials look like. Uh, so in all our tutorials, we uh, start with uh, sharing our learning goals. So you know, basically what we want to achieve in this tutorial. And, uh, yeah, and then in the left hand side, you can see the type of um, the type of materials that they are uh, uh, inside each tutorial. So uh, in this um, in this exercise, what we want to do is just show you the type of exercise that they are available in our Penguins uh, box packet. And so uh, basically, the way that we navigate in the tutorials is just um, you know we can read the text and then we can uh, click in the bottom next topic. So this is going to bring us to the second area of the tutorial. So it gets highlighted in gray, as you can see here. So then, in once that we are in that screen. Uh, you know, there are some information that is shared with us. So in this case, uh, basically what is uh, being said is that uh, we need to load the tidyverse and the partner penguins packet. So what I can do is just type tidyverse here. So to load those libraries, tidyverse, and as you can see, there is auto completion here as well. And I can also load the partner penguins packet. So um, uh, if you saw, I basically, um, you know, type uh, those two words. So once that uh, I'm ready to submit my answer, I can click here and submit answer. And so this is going to be executed and submitted. Um, and so this answer is recorded, but uh, in case that I didn't know what the answer uh, was, what I could have done is to click here in solution. So this is going to give us some hint. And so, as you can see, the solution was uh, auto-completed here. And what I could do is to is copy to clipboard and then paste my solution here and proceed to the next topic. So uh, I can click to the next topic. And this is the second type of uh, questions that we have. So these are multiple choice questions. So basically, uh, we are presented with a question. So it's just asking us what is the first and the last letters of the word penguins. And we can select both, uh, so you know the the letters that they are correct. So in this case, will be P and S. And so we can submit our answer. And as we can see, we we are presented with a message saying that indeed is correct. Uh, and so uh, we can um, we can read that P and S are the first and the last letters. And then we go to the sure. sorry. I'm I'm not sure if it's just me, but I can just see your R Studio window. Are we supposed to be seeing something oh, else? Absolutely. Yes. Oh, sorry. Yes. Um, okay, good. That is not just me. I was wondering if I was missing something. Oh my God! I'm so sorry. Yes, I've been talking for a while. Um, yes. Thank you for responding that. Yeah. Thank you. Um. um I think it's what happens when you share just our studio, then the viewer window doesn't show up, so, something like that. Right, yeah. I've definitely okay, yeah. before. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes. 
Uh, okay, now you can see it, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Okay. Brilliant. Um, okay. Cool. So yes. So I'm gonna start then from scratch. So basically, you know, I uh, I rendered that uh, that uh, markdown or I just run that line of code. Uh, I don't know if uh, you guys are doing this in this com in your computer, but this is what you're gonna see. So um, at the beginning, like you know, this is just what happens when you render the document. And so uh, basically, what we uh, put in the exercise is what what we want to achieve. So this is our learning goal. So it, this is just a pilot exercise where, where we want to uh, show you the type of exercise available in in our package. Uh, so uh, once that you know you come to this screen, what you can do is to uh, click this button next topic, and this is gonna um, this is gonna divert. This is gonna bring you to the next uh, screen so as you can see here uh, it gets highlighted in in gray uh, on the left hand side so these are all the materials available in in this particular exercise um so uh as um so as i was saying before uh what we need to do here what we can do in this fill in the blank exercise is to complete uh, the text that we need to uh, that you know we are asked for and so in this case is uh, loading the tidyverse and the palmer pinduous packet so i can go into the box and then once uh, that i'm in i can select and uh, complete with a tidyverse uh, so as you can see there is a to completion here as well and i need to uh, load the palmer penguin uh, packets as well um, so uh, you know once that i'm happy with my solution I can submit the answer, so just by clicking here, and uh, I can go to the next topic. It, uh, sorry, I, uh, you didn't see this. Uh, so one thing that uh, you know, imagine that I didn't know my answer, uh, I could also click on solution, and so uh, as you can see, there's this screen, this window that uh, pops up, uh, and, and the solution is here. So I could click this to the uh, clipboard and then paste the solution here, in case that uh, you know uh, the answer wasn't obvious. So um, I could go to the next topic, and in this case, sorry, because the exercise uh, has been completed. And, um, uh, but uh, you know, basically, what uh, will happen if you do it in, in your computer is that you know you are presented with this uh, multiple choice question, and then you can select, uh, you, you know, you can pick uh, that P and S are the first and the let last letter of penguin for. And so once that you click, and you submit your answer, uh, uh, then there's this message saying that uh, indeed this answer is correct. So uh, if I go then to the next topic, uh, this is the last type of uh, exercise that is available in the Palmer in the Penguins box packet. Uh, so this is these are Parson problems. Uh, so uh, basically, a Parson problem is a type of exercise where the answer is correct, but the order uh, of the answer is not. So in this case, we are asked to write the, uh, the sentence "Hi penguins," and as you can see on the left-hand side here, the answer is is here. But then what we need to do is to drag and drop, you know, the text on the right-hand side. So this will be the correct answer. So I can click and give give me feedback, and so the answer is correct. And with this, uh, you know, if I click into the next topic, uh, we can. Uh, see that uh, we reach the end of the tutorial. So this is basically the the three types of exercise that we provide in the penguins box package. So there's filling the black, uh, filling the blanks where you can you know put the word that you are missing. Uh, there's multiple choice questions, so you might be asked uh, you know uh, multiple type of questions, and then you have to select the right answer. And there's also person problems where you may have to uh, you know select the right order for uh, your answer. So um, I can come back to um, the presentation, but now should be fine. You should be able to see it. Uh, but please let me know otherwise. So um, so yeah, this is this was just to show you like, you know, with what type of exercise we have in the penguin box packet. Uh, but the, the, we have cover uh, multiple topics uh, of the R4 data science book. And if you actually have the packets and download it with you, uh, then if you have downloaded the packet, uh, you can type uh, what type of uh, this, this line and then you will be, um, you, they will be shown 
and what type of exercise uh, is, they are available in our package. But for today, uh, we are going to uh, split uh, everybody in two rooms. Uh, and so uh, in room one, uh, you can go to room one if you are interested in, in seeing the exercises uh, that we made for to cover ddplot2. And then you can go to room, room number two if you are interested to uh, practice some iteration exercises. Uh, so we are going to practice these exercises for the next, the plan was for the next 20 minutes, but maybe now it will be a bit shorter. So probably for the next 15 minutes or so. Um, so um, I think Susanna is making the share rooms. So you should be able to you know, go to room number one or number two. Uh, you can see the objects. Sorry, I have one quick question. Is room two in Spanish or it's just the name of the package that has a Spanish? Uh... No, no, it's, everything is in English, yeah. Okay, thank you. It might be a bit short today, but uh, you know we're gonna be on the Slack as well during the conference. So if you have any other questions to uh, uh, about anything, uh, please let us know, and we'll be more than happy to help. Sorry, how do I join the the room? Uh, you should see uh, you should see this screen where it says uh, breakout rooms. Uh, where? No, I don't see it. Where's Julian? I can say the assignment to that. Um, room one or room two? Uh, room one. Can you assign him, Susanna? Sorry? Can you assign him to room number one? Yes. You can see the option for rooms. Um, eight. Don't decide. But like, I can assign. I, I can assign you, Susanna, but I cannot go. Um, let me also share Sorry, can I just join any room that I like, or are you going to yes. assign me to a single room? Absolutely. Okay. No, you, you, you can go, yeah. Got it. Excuse me, I was unable to see any room. How to join? I also don't know. Check out breakout rooms, but we won't be able to join. And I can assign to one or two. Yeah, which one do you want to do? GG plot. Okay. Uh, which one is penguins? Uh, 
and for the purposes of entries from the end of entries.
how was that? Okay, buddy. It was fun. I learned something new. Yeah, good. Good to hear. Yeah, if you if you if anybody has any questions, we're gonna be uh, you know in the Slack during the conference or anytime. Just drop us a line there, and we'll be happy to answer. Yeah. And uh, you know, if you want to practice with any of the other available tutorials as well, just give it a go and let us know. Okay. Um, okay. Um, so let me share the screen again. I uh, just want to show you guys a bit more, uh, you know, sort of like the inside of of, um, of how we did these uh, tutorials. Uh, right now. Um, yeah, so, um, you know, uh, the way that we've done this uh, tutorial, so the reason that there were two uh, type of tutorials is because we have two R Markdown uh, files. And so basically, uh, at the end of the day, these tutorials is just uh, an R Markdown that they, it has some things that they are special. So, for example, in the YOMO, uh, you see that the output is going to be a learner tutorial. And then uh, the way that exercises are created is by, uh, you know, you have to put in the chunks here uh, that is an exercise. And so the hints as well, uh, you have to specify there is a hint. And then to check the correct answer, uh, there's this uh, check tag. Uh, but uh, please go ahead and, uh, you know, visit this blog because it's very informative. And we have served all these, um, all, uh, like, you know, a lot of uh, resources basically on how to do uh, learner tutorials in, in the readme uh, for our package. So please visit um, and uh, you know you will be able to see how to create this learner. I want to stress as well, I know that this is a, our, um, our conference and you know it, we are making our uh, tutorials here, but you can actually make a Python tutorial. So you know if you change the chunk to instead of R to be Python, you can actually uh, you know, you can generate uh, tutorials for Python as well. And this goes beyond data science as well. So, you know, if you want to serve with your coworkers some information that you want to uh, check whether they are, um, you know, they have the right uh, mental model and you want to do this by doing this learner exercise, you can do this um, as well. So, um, so yeah, please visit the readme and uh, we gather a lot of information how to do this tutorial. So, uh, so uh, this is just a bit of the structure and rationale of how and why we did this uh, penguins box uh, packet. So basically, uh, the reason that we choose penguins is because you know uh, the penguins data set is a fairly recent data set that is sort of like um, um, an alternative to the Irish data set. So uh, there are a number of reasons why uh, you know the Irish data set uh, was not uh, perfect. So for example, one of them is actually that it doesn't include the uh, an ace, whereas, uh, for example, the Palmer penguins does. And also, one good thing of the penguins um, data set is that it's actually translated in multiple languages. So, uh, for example, it's already translated into Portuguese and Spanish. Uh, so, we did this, we have a mirror packet uh, in Spanish. So, it was fairly easy to, you know, use this, use this the data set in other languages. Um, so, the way that we um, Build all these tutorials is, as I said, uh, gathering uh, R markdowns that they are uh, specific for a uh, learner, uh, and then we use the grade this packets as well to be able to, you know, generate these messages that say, "Oh, this is correct" or "This is not correct." And then uh, you can use the signy app to deploy uh, your tutorial. So that's actually fairly nice and easy to share in case uh, that you know you don't want to use your own browser. Uh, so basically, just the take-home message is that uh, you know Penguin's box is a, a learner uh, packet, so you can practice a data science uh, concept uh, with our packet. So we haven't covered yet all the packets, all the chapters in the R for Data Science book, uh, but uh, if you go to the README, uh, we have um, a, a Creative Commons license. So if you follow the code of conduct uh, and you know you abide to this its term, uh, we are very happy if you if you want to contribute um, and you know help us expand in this uh, these tutorials. Um, and also, uh, as I said, uh, 
you know, we are expanding the RStudio primer, so we are making all the type of exercise available. And we have uh, an edition in Spanish, but, you know, if you want to contribute with any other language, uh, we, you are more than welcome. Um, and so with this, uh, you know, we have so much knowledge to uh, give, obviously. Uh, so first of all, to their, uh, our 2021 organizing, organizers for, you know, putting this amazing conference together. Uh, also, we, we want to thank Alison Horse because she basically donated the stickers for our package. So we are very grateful for that. Um, to the R uh, for data science community in Spanish because you know they made this, um, uh, for example, penguins data set available in Spanish and they translate a bunch of data sets as well. Uh, the method of science as well because uh, it is this community um, that aims to share data science material in Spanish and they have a lot of great blog posts uh, about like you know how to make this learner tutorials and so on so it was fairly easy for us to you know go into those blogs and uh, you know understand how we could do these tutorials and uh, last but not least to Alison Hill uh, because she promoted us uh, on GitHub and she you know shared this tutorial uh, with the community uh, and I thank you all for you know attending our tutorial and uh, Please, uh, you know, share any thoughts or questions that you have with us uh, in the in the Slack. Thank you very much.